Hey Taurus, it's time for y'all love reading. It's about that time for y'all love reading. I just did Aries. So if you have any of those placements or if you're dealing with an Aries, definitely make sure you check out that video. So I'm going to get straight to the point and dive right in. I already cleansed the decks and I have already um, shuffled them. I will be going in with my Oracle deck that I created, which is the Mass Feelings Oracle. Um, as a clarifier, you can purchase that through the link in the description box. You can also book your personal readings through the link in the description box. So Taurus, what's going on in your love life right now? What's going on in your love life? It looks like you recently made a decision. It looks like you were hesitant to make that decision. It looks like you were hesitant to make that decision because it was over someone that you had a lot of love and passion for. <clears throat> I'm just feeling the energy of having to make a decision that you were trying to, I guess, prolong. Like you were trying to prolong making that decision until it got to the point it was just like okay i have to make this i have to make this decision and i see that it was something that you really didn't want to do what decision did Taurus make you could have been cutting someone off oh yeah you didn't want to cut someone off it could have been an aries it could be a fire sign leo sagittarius aries or an air sign gemini libra aquarius but definitely someone um that you did not want to cut off with the queen of swords reverse you didn't want to cut this person off you didn't want to let this person go but it's like you had to gain back control and it's it's just like that's something that you had to do in order to gain back control so taurus how does this person feel about you how does the person that is on your mind or that you're dealing with feel about you currently how does this person i feel like they're hoping that things will change for the better between y'all i see that they're they're thinking about you a lot they're thinking about you heavily and i see that they're hoping that things will change for the better between y'all like you two may come back together they feel as if you two won't start fresh but they're hoping that you two will start fresh eventually emperor right at the bottom of the deck again but I see that they're hoping that um, things will change between y'all. They could also be thinking about ways of trying to win you back, trying to win you over. It seems like this is someone that you're separated from or distant from, whether it be physically or emotionally. How else is this person? Oh, wow. They all fell out. Okay. So this is my Oracle deck that I created that I'm going in with. First card, I need space from you. I feel like your person knows that you need space from them. I feel like they know that you know you had to distance yourself but they feel you leaving them behind even though they know you they need even though they know you need space from them they feel as if you're leaving them behind they feel as if you're starting to get over them and then i miss sleeping with you i see that they miss being intimate with you they miss your warmth they miss um being touchy feely like your person is just missing you and then i need to focus on healing now like i said this is at the bottom of the deck like i said your person knows that um that you need space from them and they know that you need to heal from whatever happened but they feel as if it's they feel as if now that you're going through the healing process you're getting over them okay let's see how you feel about them taurus usually i leave the cards out but you know this is a small little area so i'm gonna just put it back into the deck so Taurus, how do you feel about your person? The devil card flashed at me. So you could feel as if they're very toxic, very um, maybe even childish, or their person could be a Capricorn. But how does Taurus feel about their person? So many cards came out. How does Taurus feel about their person? How does Taurus feel about their person? So I see that you're still caught up on them. The hangman came out. I see that you're definitely still caught up on this person, but it's like being caught up. It's like, okay, being caught up on this person, yet also letting them go is stressful itself. It's like, okay, being caught up on them is stressful, but then letting them go and having to deal with, you know, the healing process is also stressful. It's like, it's like you're just stressed in general. Like it's like either way it goes, you're stressed. 
And then the moon card, you could be dealing with a cancer. I feel like you're hiding the fact that you're stressing about this person. I feel like you're finally hiding the fact that you're even thinking about this person. Clarification on the moon card. The two of discs came out first. You could be debating on if you want to reach out to them or debating on if you want to share your feelings with them. Clarification on the moon card. Yeah, you're debating if you want to work on things with this person. You're definitely debating on if you want to um, reach out and work on things with this person. Let's see. Should Taurus work on things with this person? Should Taurus try and work things out with this person? Too many cards came out. Whoa, I didn't realize how many cards that was. Okay. Should Taurus work things out with this person yes or no or should source reach out to this person yes or no could be dealing with the gemini the lover's card came out this could be like a twin flame connection or you could feel like um this is like a soulmate connection i feel like this connection to you feels deeper than just oh i have feelings for this person or oh i like this person like i see that you feel as if it's deeper than um just feelings or a commitment but i feel like yeah you should reach out to this person um keep in mind though that it may not work out how you want it to be you know you may still live the single life or it may be best for you to live the single life but i definitely see that you should reach out to this person this person could also be contemplating on reaching out to you but yeah with the lover's card that's that's a yes to me especially with the nine of disc as well that's a yes to me but just don't expect a relationship out of you reaching out to this person or don't expect you know uh, a, a deeper level of commitment from this person by reaching out to them or trying to work things out with them okay so let's see how else does Taurus feel about this person how else does Taurus feel about this person Okay, so the first card that came out is sometimes I stay awake thinking about you. Definitely, like I said, you're still caught up on this person. Hangman is right there with the Ten of Wands. I already said you're still caught up on this person and thinking about them or thinking about the, the connection or the stress of the connection is, um, is, is stressing you out. But you're definitely still thinking about this person. You're the one that got away. I see that you feel as if they're the one that got away. It's like, okay, things didn't work out, yeah, but they're still the one that got away in my eyes. Like, you're looking at them as if they're a catch or they're you know like a missing piece to the puzzle or something and then i wish i can go back in time came out as well i see that you really want to work things out with this person i see that you wish you would have um how can you say it i see you i see that you wish you would have done things differently or said things differently like i see that you just you wish you can go back in time to change how you reacted to certain things or something along those lines and then at the bottom of the deck is i'm still holding on to the idea of us I Loki already said that as well. You're definitely still holding on to the idea of y'all. I see that. I see that. Um, even the fact that you're debating, you're indecisive on whether you should work things out with this person or not, is you still holding on to the idea. It's like, okay, should I? Because you're still holding on to the idea. If you weren't holding on to the idea of you two being together again, then you would have never. That would have never came out. Like you wouldn't be indecisive at all. What is the outcome of their connection? Okay, um, if you two were, if you were in a third party energy, you would know if you were in a third party energy. If you were, I see that um, either you decided to cut yourself out or the person that you're dealing with decided to cut themselves out. Or not their self, but the other person out. Clarification on the Three of Cups reversed. Yeah, the Hermit. You could be dealing with the Virgo. Yeah, someone cut their self out of the third party situation. And I see that they didn't allow their self to go back into that third party situation. Whether it's you, Taurus, or the person that you're dealing with. I just see personally that someone decided to cut out um, being in a third party situation. And now they're just going through the healing process. They're going through the process of being alone, getting used to being alone with the princess of swords. Um, I see that communication is going to come in, but I see that it may be pettiness or arguments as well. I don't see that the communication, like, you know, I see messages are going to be sent pretty much Mes text messages or calls are going to be, you know, happening, but I just see that 
there isn't really going to be any maturity within those conversations. What else is the outcome for the first and their person? Too many cards came out. What else is the outcome between Taurus and their person? If you hear a noise in the background, it's my kitty cat. Clarification on the Nine of Wands reverse. You two may end up working on things with the Eight of Discs especially, but you two may have, may end up working on things. I feel like I feel like right now it's like, okay, what's the point of putting in a fight for this connection? With the Nine of Wands reverse, it's like, okay, what's the point of putting a fight in this connection? What's the point of trying to be in this connection? Just It's just like, what's the point? Like, what am I going to get out of this? That's I feel like that's how both of y'all or one of y'all is feeling right now. Mostly you, Taurus. I see that that's how you're feeling. But I see that you have a lot of love for this person. So out of the, you know, the strength that you love this person, I see that you two may end up working on things or you two may communicate on trying to work on things what else is the outcome oh, too many cards. what else is the outcome the strength card i just realized is at the bottom of the deck you could be done with the leo empress clarification on the empress clarification on the empress Okay, for some of y'all, you could be speaking about starting a family together. Some of y'all could definitely be talking about starting a family together for a small, small, small group of y'all. Honestly, I see that, you know, this person is like your sneaky link. I see that you you guys been sneaking around with smashing. And for like I said, a very small group of y'all, if that's what y'all doing with this person, you know, sneaking around, smashing this person, um, you may end up pregnant and I see that you're going to be indecisive on whether you should keep the child or not. That's for a small group. Now, for the others of y'all, you're going to be indecisive on whether you want to grow with this person, if you want to continue a connection with this person. Um, it's like, once again, you have a lot of love for this person. You feel like they're they're your like better half or a counterpart. Like You just feel really connected to this person. And I see it's just like you're indecisive on if you want to continue a connection with this person, if you want to continue growing with this person. Okay, one more card for the outcome. Okay. Ace of Wands. See what I say? It's going to be a whole lot of sex, honestly. You, you may end up smashing this person again. It may even be a sexual thing. It may start off as a sexual thing and grow into something more with the Empress, but it's definitely going to be sexual. It's definitely going to be sexual. I see you two being very, very sexual together. But like I said, I just shuffled, looked at the bottom, and it's a Ten of Cups. I see that, um, like I said, for some of y'all, it's going to start off sexual, but then it's going to grow into something more. But but it's, it's, it's gonna start off um it's gonna start off sexual um for some of y'all you could um you or your person could be into into henna or tattoos you have to have a lot of tattoos or maybe spoke about getting matching tattoos something about tattoos here or henna um something about tattoos here but let's get some advice for y'all I'm going to shuffle this up. Let me get some advice for Taurus. We can make this love connection. Let me get some advice for Taurus regarding this love connection. And then I'm going to pull out some charms as well. Okay, Taurus. Let me get some advice for the Taurus. Let me get some advice for the Taurus regarding this love connection. I see to keep the hope or keep the faith or, or keep praying about this connection. If, if you've been praying for your person, continue praying for them. The star card represents Aquarius. You can have Aquarius placements or your person can be an Aquarius. But I definitely see to continue praying if that's what you're doing or continue keeping the faith, keeping the hope, continue even putting in effort maybe um not no scratch that don't continue putting in effort like I didn't mean to say that not don't do that but I didn't mean to say that it's more continue with your healing process continue with whatever you're doing to heal from this connection or heal from past connections continue doing that keep it up and then for some of y'all continue praying for the connection what else is the advice let me get one more card Get one 
So we get one more part of the advice. We get one more card of the advice. See, eventually you two are gonna work on things so don't stress too much about this connection like you can see this person is making sure that that flower is growing making sure that it's being watered taking care of it putting in effort to take care of it um i see that you two are going to put effort into the connection and even look at all of these okay watering you know watering the the grass or the flowers that's right there watering this flower then we got the ace of cups a lot of water you could be dealing with the water sign pisces cancer scorpio um a lot of water here maybe you two used to go to the beach together a lot or something about water is significant here maybe a person even drinks a lot of water once again something about tattoos but ace of cups all these cups for one and two all these all this water um i see that soon enough y'all are gonna water the connection like i see that soon enough the feelings are gonna come back so don't stress too much about this connection. Like you can see this this cup is being overflowed. It's like you're going to put so much effort into the connection that it's just going to overflow with abundance, overflow with love. Just and basically the advice is to keep the faith, pray if um if you're praying, if you've been praying, pray, if you haven't, pray. Um and when the time comes to work things out with this person, definitely put in the effort. Don't be petty, don't be childish, don't let the past get to you. Um, definitely keep up putting in effort. Okay, so I'm going to close my eyes. I'm going to take two charms. One right here. And another one. Aw, oh, a lock. Okay. So, uh, the message that I'm getting from these charms is, um, soon enough this person is going to unlock their heart for you soon enough things are going to change in the connection things are going to change from what it is now into something better and um i see you'll be able to unlock this person's heart or i see that this person will unlock their heart for you like i see that this either this person or you has you know um a lock around their heart they have a wall up around their heart they have a brick wall up around their heart like i just see that this person is being very guarded with their heart and i see that soon enough even though the key didn't come out with this i definitely see that soon enough this person is going to um let their guard down unlock their heart especially with this dragonfly things are going to change for the better things are going to transform from what it is now to something better so definitely keep the faith and definitely keep praying because things will definitely get better for you and this person but make sure i like and subscribe more videos will come soon once again you can book a personal reading through the link in the description box you can also um order this oracle deck from the link in the description box when you order your products um it is shipped within the same day as long as it's before 4 30 p.m eastern time so definitely make sure you guys um check out my website i have a bunch of crystals bracelets a bunch of things make sure y'all check it out but thank you for watching you guys make sure y'all subscribe and stay blessed period <laughs>